Hello students, how are you all? I hope everyone fine. So in last class we learned uh, what do you mean by binary operation and some of okay examples of binary operation. Now I'm going to take one important discussion called properties of binary operation. So the first property, okay, commutative property. The first property of binary operation is commutative, commutative property. Okay, observe carefully. I'll define, I'll give some examples. Okay, try to understand. Usually, you'll get one question for two or three marks based on this concept called commutative property. A binary operation, okay, a binary operation star on a set S is called, is called, satisfies or is called, is called. A commutative is called a commutative. It's called a commutative if it's called a commutative if a star b equal to b star a for all a comma b belongs to s. A binary operation star on a set S is called a commutative or satisfies commutative property if a star b is equal to b star a for all a comma b belongs to S. See for example, uh, a star b is equal to a plus b minus ab. Maybe uh, this a comma b belongs to q, rational number. Now, if I ask if the question is like this, E star commutative, E star is commutative, what is your answer, E star is commutative, okay, how to verify, first write A star B, what is A star B, A plus B minus A B, okay, now what is B star A, in Marbeco, replace A by B, B by A, so it will be B plus A minus B A. Whether these two expressions are equal or not, yes, you can easily observe that A star B equal to, you know, B star A, you can write as A plus B, B plus, not an issue, A, B and a B, no worry about it. So, okay, because of these two, you can say that star is commutative, star is commutative or satisfies commutative property so so after this conclusion you can write that a star b is equal to b star a or a star star is a commutative property okay so first this is the first property you know commutative property the next property associative property associative property Similarly, you can define associative property. See this, a binary operation, a binary operation star on a set, on a set A is called, is called associative, is called associative, is called associative if, if A star B star C equal to A star B star c for all a comma b belongs to s for all a comma b belongs to f if this condition satisfies if this condition satisfies then star is called associative okay let me take one example if a star b is equal to a b by 5 for all a comma b belongs to q for all a comma b belongs to q okay suppose this is a given condition then is star binary uh, is star associative question is star associative check to check whether this star is associative or not you have to check this condition you know a star b b star a star b star c is equal to a star b star c so let me take first uh, this expression a star b star c okay huh. a star keep as it is write first b star c what is b star c for this operation bc by 5 bc by 5 now take this as a star z where z is equal to bc by 5 huh. now what is a star z according to this a z by 5 correct huh? it's almost like a composition huh. what is z replace bc by 5 
डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव सो ये ना कहते दो ए बी सी बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव इल कैंसिल आगे लान इन पे ले डोंट कैंसिल दिस फाइव एंड फाइव इट विल कम डाउन इट बिकम ए बी सी बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दिस इज अ लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ए स्टार बी स्टार सी नेक्स्ट फाइंड आउट ए स्टार बी स्टार सी ओके ए स्टार बी स्टार सी सो व्हाट इज ए स्टार बी ए बी बाय फाइव स्टार सी ओके सो व्हाट इज ए स्टार ओके लेट इट बी जेड व्हिच वन ए बी बाय फाइव ओके टेक ए बी बाय फाइव आज ए जेड अप्लाई अगेन ए स्टार बी फॉर जेड स्टार सी सो इट बिकम जेड सी बाय फाइव इट बिकम जेड सी बाय फाइव व्हाट इज जेड जेड अंदर नहीं ली ए बी बाय फाइव into c by 5 again 5 phi, phi does not cancel remember that so it become a b c by 25 compare 1 and 2 when you compare 1 and 2 what is the conclusion you can write tell me we can write a star b star c equal to a star b star c therefore star is you know associative therefore star is Associative. Artha ita hilte rado. So like this, you can check whether the given operation on some particular set whether it's committed or not, associative or not. So these two are very important the properties of binary operation. We have two more like this only. Uh, yeah, it is not given more important. Okay, to the next two properties in the NCERT, but it is mentioned. So you may get okay one mark question or two mark question, but uh, mostly important for the ent ent uh, entrance exams. Then. the board exam okay so the next property identity property identity property the next property identity property see we can define like this listen carefully an element an element e belongs to s is called an identity element is called an identity is called an identity element of s okay with respect to a binary operation star if a binary operation star if ha huh, a star e equal to e star a is equal to a for all a belongs to s in other arth aita if not don't worry i'll explain this Yeah, maybe you heard about additive identity, multiplicative identity. Kedi thera tense nadal kedi thera. What do you mean by additive identity? You know which element if you add with a, the resultant is a itself. Yeah, absolutely right. You know a plus zero. In baratay a only you no. Know? Or zero plus a is also equal to a only. So zero is called you know additive identity. Additive identity. In N P D I do ten channel kalti thera. Maybe in lower class. Okay. Arey thara. What is the multiplicative in identity? Which number you should multiply with a so that resultant is a itself? Yes. Answer is one. Alba. So one is called multiplicative identity. Multiplicative identity. One is called multiplicative identity. So this is a basic thing you know already. Okay, let me take one example like the previous one where I will show you how to get identity element. Okay, see one more example. A star B is equal to A B by three. Uh, for all A comma B belongs to Q. See, if you multiplication is a division with alpha. So you cannot decide directly what is the multi identity just like this. You cannot decide. So you have to find out. This is we know, so we can use it. But only in Gothi life, this is not a standard operation. So we have to identify. You have to find out the identity element. Now I will show you. Okay, how to find out identity element for this basic operation. Okay. Now let us assume. Let us assume E is an identity. Let E be an identity element. we have to find out because we don't know but you take that identity element as e now if i assume that e is an identity element according to this definition a star e is equal to a correct right what is a star e if this is a star b what is a star e 
ए बै थ्री इज इक्वल टू ए करेक्ट अर्थ आगे हाँ सो ए कैंसल आगत रईट सो इई थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन राइट सो इज इक्वल ऐन थ्री बट आक्चुअली हियर ई शुड रिमूव जीरो बिकॉज टू कैंसल ए हियर ए शुड बी Not equal to zero. So let us remove zero from the set of all rational number. Okay, then not an issue. So this is an identity. Is it belongs to Q? Yeah, three is a rational number, not an issue. So this is an identity element. So what is the identity element of this operation? Three. Okay, is an identity element. Is an identity element of Q minus zero with respect to. You know, with respect to binary operation star, with respect to binary operation star. So like this, you can find out identity element of the operation which when it is other than addition and multiplication. So one more property left. It is called inverse property that I will discuss in next video. Thank you.